In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a basic overview of the Divi Builder Accordion Module. What the Accordion Module is, is a collection of content toggles that can be opened and closed. And as you open one toggle, um, the toggle that was previous open, previously open becomes closed. So here's an example of one single Accordion Module with various different uh, toggle contents uh, added. So if I choose the plus icon here, it's going to open up this set of content and close the other one and so on and you can um, open up each one uh, by clicking it and what this does is kind of a, a consolidate space so a great way to use the accordion module is for like an FAQ page if you have a bunch of FAQs for example that's how it's used here these are kind of questions and you can open up each, each one to see the answer and it saves space and kind of it just looks nice so that's basic um, basically what the accordion module is and so now I'm going to dive into the settings and show you how to uh, configure this module. So first thing I'm going to do is create a new page. I'm going to choose to use the Divi Builder. I'm going to click the Insert Columns to insert a column. I'm going to use a one column here. And then I'm going to click the Insert Modules button and find the Accordion Module. So here's the Accordion Module. I'm going to click that. And this will bring up the accordion module settings. Now, as with, as with every Divi module, the settings are broken up into three tabs, general settings, advanced design settings, and custom CSS. As a general philosophy, everything you need to configure the module and create an amazing page can be found within the general settings tab right here. But if you want to get a little more advanced and really have full control over the um, design of the module, then you can dive into the advanced design settings, which has all kinds of great settings, such as custom colors and fonts and font sizes, um, and, um, font weights, line heights, all that great stuff. Um, you have full control here. But for now, we're just going to focus on the general settings. And we have another tutorial for advanced design settings and custom CSS, if you'd like to check that out. So here in the general settings, you have, we have our basic settings. Um, and at the bottom here, we have three buttons, which is um, saving. Here you can save the module once you've configured it. In the center here, you have a preview icon that can be clicked at any time to get a preview of the module as you configure it. And here you can save uh, to the Divi library to use the module in the future if you so choose. So with the, with the accordion module, um, before we can configure the module, we first have to add our first uh, content toggle. And I'm going to do that by clicking the add new item button here. And then you'll be able to configure the two pieces of content, which is the title and then the content. Um, the title is what is the um, <coughs> link that is clicked, and the content is what's shown in the box once you click that title. So we might say, um, like, what is your refund policy? And then whatever our refund policy is, we might paste that into the content block here. And so we're, we've created our first question in the FAQ and added our first answer and save. And then you can see the first item's been added here. And then we can add our next item. How about where are you located? Paste in the answer, save. And so now we have two items in our, in our accordion. And like I said, you can click the preview icon here to get a preview of what we've created so far. And here it is. What is the refund policy question? Where are you located? And you can click to open either of these. Uh, when you're in the preview <coughs> mode, you can also toggle between our different responsive design testing tabs to see what your module looks like at various screen sizes. And so I'm happy with this module, so I can save and exit. and then publish the page. And then we can take a look at our page in the front end. And you can see that that accordion module has been added. And so this, this would be great for, an, for a contact at us page, for example. So maybe I'll add a new row and add a contact module. Place that above the accordion. You'll go into the accordion here and add some new questions. I'm just going to duplicate them for now, uh, just to give you the effect of a four toggle accordion. And then we can um, head back to our page here. You can see we have like a basic kind of um, about us contact page of a contact form and a bunch of accordion toggles here. 
that can be opened and closed by your visitors. Now, like I said, you can also dive into the advanced design settings if you want. I'm not going to get into, go into too much detail here, but you can just customize basically everything inside of this tab here. You could, um, let's say we want to change the toggle title font. Might want to change it to one of the various Google fonts we support. Maybe we'll want to make it bold and all caps. And uh, get a preview here of what we've created. So you can get a preview <coughs> and you can see the title has now been made bold in all caps. Might even want to change the background color. So we could do that as well. Maybe you want to make it purple. Maybe you want to change our text color to white. Get a preview of that. And you can see that's completely changed the look and feel of the toggle module, of uh, the toggles. And it's open and closed. And so you really have full control over everything here inside the advanced design settings. So that's a basic overview of the accordion module inside the Divi Builder.